How's it going guys? Killcast here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are going to be trying out a new horror game. Just came out today. It's a pretty cheap one on Steam. Some of these are very good and other ones are kind of eh. I feel like this one's going to be pretty good though. Uh, this one's called Love Sam. Uh, the only thing I know is you're home alone and you find this diary with some creepy stuff in it and after that some stuff happens. I started up the game and this is all it's given me. So there's no start menu, there's no start game, there's no new game. I don't know what's going to happen pretty freaked out right now not gonna lie but uh yeah we dim the lights so that we get a little bit of more of a creepy vibe uh, i couldn't turn them off completely otherwise you can't see me i don't have any of the the fancy lighting yet i uh, i do apologize i will be saving up for that but yeah i've rambled on long enough uh if you like this video please give it a like um subscribe if you want to see more content like this i figured i'd take a break from my normal world war z videos kind of mix it up a bit uh, let me know if you guys like this kind of content or if you just want me to stick to my World War Z. Without further ado, let's get into it. Hopefully you guys can see me uh, have a miniature heart attack like I did in my other ones. Alright, what are we doing here? Okay, all I did is click. Are right, we getting out of bed now? Okay. Oh. <laughs> the light switch scared me. Alright, so we're... Yeah, this has an... Uh, Andromalus or Andromalus vibe. Uh, it seems like it's not one that has puzzles or anything. It just just kind of happens. So you kind of just got to walk around your house until stuff happens. I'm not sure what the, the heart is next to the light switch. Do we love the light switch? Oh. Ooh, we can have a rave. No? Okay. I'll stop messing with it. Light on, I think. Uh, yeah, so it just took a second to warm up, I'm guessing. No spookies in here, but it does shut by itself. Creepy. Can we look out there? No. Nope. Okay. We are locked in our own apartment. Fancy. I like where it's going so far. Okay. This is the diary that I saw on the, the cover of the game. It says my dirty little secret. I don't know if it's our diary, someone else's diary. I just know we wake up. There's a diary here. So let's check it out. My dirty little secrets. Read on to move on. Okay. Do we... Flip the page. There we go. The last human on earth was sitting alone in a room. There came a knock on the door. Is there going to be a knock on the door? No, we're good. Okay. I've never cared for keeping a diary, but now seems to be a good time to start keeping one. Why? Because after all these years, I just can't forget about what used to be the light of my life. I know, over dramatic much. Very, very over dramatic. I like the hearts down here. They look like little butterflies. You did good. Ooh, this character though. Very good drawing, whoever this is. Knowing Brian Calmer, as much as I did, is bound to leave that big chunk of residue. That sounds terrible. Let's just say this diary is what's left of our relationship. Okay. Three years, no, three years have passed. Over dramatic, but I like it. And the world around me is still the same, well, except for me. I look like a mummified corpse. You need to get that checked out. Anytime you look like a mummified corpse, you need to go to a doctor. What would B say if he saw me again? B left Rosen Peak the moment he graduated high school to go to a fancy college of his dreams. Don't we wish we all could go to a fancy college of our dreams? <sighs> wish we could be more like B. Since then, I could only rely on my memories of it to keep on going. I wonder if it was the same for him too. Journeys, Poland. <laughs> yes, I saw the light flicker, but we're not scared yet. When you love someone, his whole existence just gets etched into your brain. So no matter how much B changes, I will always know it's him. But will B do the same for me? I know B liked me a lot too, but he was not the most likely person to remember stuff. Me neither. I don't remember anything, ever. Terrible memory. Considering how long three years felt for me, it's possible he did forget about me. Or am I giving him too little credit? So here comes the big question. We're gonna get scared, aren't we? Will he remember me? Uh, Ouija board? Um, I think that's what that is. Creepy sun, creepy moon. Um, yes. Put the pencil down. Who am I kidding? It's B we're talking about. We didn't have the most perfect. Calm down, Thunder. I'm trying to read. Who am I kidding? It's B we're talking about. We didn't. We didn't have the most perfect relationship. I don't know, that just didn't seem right when I read it, I don't know. 
but he won't just dump his memory of me down the toilet or something. He's too much of a nice guy for that. And don't forget cute. Aww. I just hope our time together was meaningful enough to him, enough to make him cherish even the darkest ones. Did she kill him? Speaking of cherishable memories, I wonder what happened to Joe's dinner. Diner? Diner, not dinner, sorry. Used to be my favorite place, naturally, because it was B's favorite place to begin with. If there were two things that were too good for Rosen Peak, it would be Brian and Joe's diner. Yeah, diner. Home of the best pancakes in the world. I love pancakes. Brian Calmer. Five star review. Yes, please. Five star pancakes. Things were so much easier back then. B could just go, hey. And I would be like, hey. Nothing but hanging out after that. With some occasional visit to the Colton Hill. We had such a good thing going. But then. Will he remember my voice? Stop it. I'm reading! Fine. Uh. Oh! Left and right mouse button, I guess, do something. I. Sorry. I should have answered. Oh, but the phone rings there! Woo! Will he say hey to me again? Did time already ruin our moments? Okay, fine. Answer. Hello? 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 No? Okay, fine. I don't want to talk to you anyways. I don't want to talk to you. Put the phone down. That's rude. They just hung up on me. They don't even know me. Fine, I'll go back to reading. Burr, 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 burr. I could call him a thousand times and more just to hear him say, Hello. I enjoyed just feeling his presence on the other side. Hey. I even enjoyed imagining him eagerly waiting to hear something other than my breath. Hi. <laughs> Creepy stalker. I wish I could sneak into me. Oh my god <sighs> This is gonna be terrible isn't it Shut window gonna make me get out of my chair shut Lock All right, we still good still good Who Leaves little bunches and their floor mat like that. Okay, we're, we're gonna ignore it. We're gonna go back to read. What is this? That wasn't there before. So much reading. August 21st, 2006. That was a debut outfit. I admire your confident confidence, Sam. And with that, my whole high school year... And with that, my whole high school years were probably over. Creepy face. Haha. <laughs> Looks angry. Looks like Brock from Pokemon, because he never opens his eyes. First day of a new school, a new girl in town got classified as undesirable by what seems to be the queen of Waywhite Academy. I spent last night telling myself, confidence, Sam, confidence. But looks like I should have spent the time, spent that time picking better clothes. I try not to care too much about blending in, but these, shut up, Thunder! But these kids already look at me like I'm candy handed out by strangers. What kind of candy? That's what matters. We're talking about Twix. We need some Twix bars. The package seems fine, but you know there's something fishy in there. Judging from their whispers, I could figure out they didn't know Wayright even accepted transfers. I didn't either. It's been less than 24 hours since I moved to Rosen Peak, and I already enjoy sitting alone in my dorm room more than, more than attempt socializing. The sentence doesn't seem right. More than attempt socializing with people who call me a city girl. Well, screw you too, hillbillies. <laughs> hillbillies! Besides, I decided not to force myself into making friends after how my old friends decided to turn on me. I just hope these guys leave me alone at least. Keeping a diary sure can keep things together in all the chaos. I haven't kept a diary since kindergarten, but this seems like a good, a good time to restart. Kudos to mom for giving me the advice. Oh shoot, almost forgot calling her. Write you later, diary, my only true friend, love Sam, now entering Rosen Peak. Okay. I thought this was our diary. Okay. I wish I could sneak into people's mind, look beyond their eyes, just by staring. If I had that power, I would never stop looking through B's window. Creepy! <clears throat> Will B remember the moment he came into my life? For me, it was as clear as the moment he left. So clear that the downfall of our relationship... <laughs> relationship still cuts deep into my heart stranger 
friend, someone special. What? She's saying she killed him and now she's a stranger or something? I don't know. Yeah, life in Rosen Peak was a jar filled with bittersweet candies. Not exactly tasteful, but I learned to enjoy it. Candy? Those aren't Twixes. Those are little, like, look like peppermints or little butterscotches. Nevertheless, it's where my heart lies. Wrote a poem in Bee's memory. Oh my god, all the reading. He used to struggle with Miss Lasley's poetry practice, even if he didn't have to try that hard. Miss Lasley always told us poetry is not about using fancy words, let your feelings do all the work. Well, this is how I feel. Apparently, I'm just going to read you guys a story. I stand at... I stand at his doorstep, heart filled with desire. He rushes down the stairs, heart red like fire. But before his spirit can soar, first he must answer the door. Is the door gonna ring? Doorbell gonna ring? I called it. Get up. We gotta go answer the door. Who is it? Hello? Can I answer the fridge instead? I can open the fridge. What kind of drink? Oh, apparently I'm just gonna shut myself in the fridge. Gotta answer the door, man. Who is it? Who's out there? What do you want? You live underwater? Or inside a plastic bag? Okay. No one's there, so do I open the door? <clears throat> Why can't I just open the door? Maybe it was this door, the bathroom. I can actually go in the bathroom? Why is the light switch on the outside? So if you're in here taking a dump, minding your own business. By the way, that shower curtain looks moldy and disgusting. But if you're in here taking a dump, someone could just be like, nope, now you're taking a dump in the dark. And that would be terrible. We don't have a reflection. Oh my God, we're a vampire. Can I interact with anything? I don't want to sit down and read some more, but that's exactly what it's going to make me do, isn't it? Oh my god, there's another note. <clears throat> Fancy reading voice. August 22nd, 2006. Stacy is a classic. FYI, she's the one. Uh, for your information, she's the one who talked crap about my favorite vintage shirt. It's like she jumped straight out of a cheesy teen drama. Blonde, hot, always talking, and a cheerleader. She even has a beefy jock for a boyfriend. Fancy. I didn't want to start talking shit. Watch the language about someone already, but how could I resist? Every time I get in Stacy's view, triggered an obvious backbite. Huh? I'm seriously starting to think she's under a curse that kills her if she stopped talking about someone else. Could be. <laughs> I'm Stacy. I'm pretty. Sadly, coping with her bitchiness <laughs> wasn't the hardest part of my day. Mom called again. As far as she knows, it's just rainbows and butterflies here in Rosen Peak. I can still remember the complicated face she made when I told her that my application was accepted by Wayright. None of us were expected, expecting them to approve a transfer request of a 11th grader. Even if she told me she understands my need to move out of the city, I really feel guilty for leaving her alone. You jerk. You already used up your last runaway chance, Sam. Get yourself together, if not for you, for mom. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. I did open the door. No one was there. Other Wayright kids were so predictable. Their doors were already open even before I put my hand on the knob. I <laughs> put her hand on the knob. But B's door was closed. Shut, so beautifully painted. Everyone liked him. Stop it, lights! But couldn't get him to open up. It's a very odd kitty. Uh, sir, you have a keyhole where your face should be. Good detail on the teeth, though. I knew there was something more behind that pretty paint, something behind his bright smile. But on the other hand, being able to hang out with him was good enough blessing for me. Enough to make us earn, sorry, enough to make me want to never leave his side. Never, ever. Aw, oh, crap. The storm stopped. Aw, oh, it's getting closer. Ah! Ah! What? That wasn't our hand. Ah! Oh. We're gonna get so scared, aren't we? Turn on. Okay, at least we got that. Um. Turn on. 
Oh, that's a bathroom light. I forgot about that. Turn on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Please turn on. Why do I play scary games? Okay, so we got light there. Oh, fridge light. Yes. There we go. Now we got a little bit of light in here. You can always rely on the fridge. Okay. We got the kitchen table. Got this. Can we screw the light bulb in? No. I don't know what I just did. Oh, the fridge shut. I forgot stuff shuts after a while. Hey, okay. So this one motion detector. I get you. Okay, so we got two lights on. That one just will not work though. Do we see if someone's here? No, that's not the goal here. Okay. What about the closet? No. I already know something terrible is gonna happen. I just I don't want to be a part of this. Oh, now we got words here. Okay. No, I want to zoom in on the book. Can I get closer to it? What's up with this? <laughs> You're too far away. Zoom in. I guess I'll read it from way back here. Oh, no, because it won't let me interact with it. Must mean that there's something left. Is this the one that I already... Okay, no, I haven't read this one yet. <clears throat> Reading voice. My first Rosen Peak weekend, as the name itself gives away, the small town fits perfectly as a setting for a mystery slash horror genre. Kinda what I'm playing. Lush forests, endless hills, and a lake that I'm certain I'm certain is hiding a couple of dead bodies. Slightly concerning. I could pay a visit one day and take some gorgeous shots. As for now, I'm just gonna leave those pull on my to-do list. P-O-I. Pull? POI pull? I don't know. I don't know. Which is already filled with the crazy amount of homework. I know now why youngsters of Wayright will try their best to get as far away from school as possible. After class, to escape from choking on the pressure that teachers give them. Even on weekends, pretty girls like Stacy will have their boyfriends give them a ride, and others make use of the power of public transportation to get to the more crowded part of town. It does feel too quiet with no one left in school, but at least I don't feel as lonely as I was in San Diego. At least I don't have to watch everyone I know turn their faces away like I'm some kind of demon spawn. At least I don't have to be reminded how, f how fucked up I am. Calm down with the language! Things can be in a s- Oh, be reminded how fucked up things can be in a single moment. It doesn't say fucked up I am. How fucked up things can be. I'm sorry. Moving on won't be easy, but as long as I keep busy, keep myself busy, it won't be that hard. As for my weekend plan, I'll just improvise in the morning. Write you later. Love, Sam. Dun dun dun. Okay, can I look at the book now? I can, okay. B was always pushing his limits. Well, it was more like he was always being pushed, but he was good at it. That's why he naturally became the best quarterback of the team while maintaining a high school grade for a star player. Looked like it went out of focus there for a second. Did you guys see that? B was the best quarterback Wayright could ask for. Seeing him running all sweaty on the field always triggered something tingly within me. Something that made me want to catch him behind his back and never let go. Ew. Oh, it says Sam and B. I thought it were butterflies. My bad. All sorts of feelings and thoughts were pumped restlessly into my brain with every heartbeat. It gave me a bad headache. Shut up, Thunder! A good kind of bad headache. I wanted it to stop. I wanted it to never stop. Well, make up your damn mind. Just right now, you're a walking contradiction. But as soon as B gave me that A, all those headaches were washed away. You guys heard that, right? It's not just me. I'm not, I'm not like, losing my mind here. Okay, we're going to finish reading. Then we'll look. I'm a little scared, though. I don't even want to look to the right. Whew. It used to be the best prescription I could ask for. Take away the pain and let only the good things stay. Hey. Okay, nothing happened. We're good. Hi! Wait, why did we cut it out and then paste it there? That don't make any sense. Really? It's going to make me get up. There's going to be something creepy there. I already know it. Oh, wait. 
Oh. So after we read these, they go up on our little board. That's kind of cool. In case I miss something, I guess. I do miss stuff a lot. Feel free to yell at me for that. Were we just supposed to get up? And now can we interact? No. Can we take... We can! Nice. Okay. Well, hello, eyeball! Hi, hey, hey, hi, 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 hey, 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 hi. Okay, so we're gonna cover you up. Boom! Take that! What just giggled? Oh, huh. Quit it! Gonna do something, just do it. Just get it out. I'm so tired of waiting for something to happen. I'm like, gonna explode. August 31st, 2006. For a boarding school way right, intellectuals are not that interested in becoming intelligent. Wow. Way to put them on blast like that. I visited the library today and two things surprised me. One, the place was much bigger than the one in my old school. Someone could get lost in here. Two, I had a strong feeling that people rarely visited the library, maybe because they feared being lost in there. Shut up, thunder. The place was too clean. Even the book showed little sign of human touch. Kind of like libraries here. It's sad, I know. Now I feel sorry for complaining about Miss Lasley's book assignment. I wonder if Stacy is even thinking of picking up a book. Probably not. Stacy's a douche. With her... You didn't capitalize your W at the beginning of the sentence! With her admiring her boyfriend Kyle's tattoo all day, I doubt she has spare time to do that. Is she depending on Kyle to do the reading for her? Seriously? According to what I saw so far, he's either busy reacting to whatever's coming out of Stacy's mouth, or working up some shenanigans with his jock buddy. Brian? Was it? So yeah, right. In the meantime, I should be more concerned about myself than the well-being of the whole school. We too cool for books. We too cool for books. I keep forgetting I can do that. Alright, let's get back into this book. Yeah. Open those eyes, no need for words. The sweetest love songs those eyes utter. Oh, it's so sweet. So turn around and sing for me. It's gonna happen, guys. No, 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 no. You go away. You are creepy. Go away. Oh, shit. Okay, she just wanted to paint an arrow on the table. That's all she wanted. See, she's gonna leave us alone now. She just wanted us to look in the fridge. Just look in the fridge. She made us dinner. Look, she made us dinner. That's all she wanted. Um, maybe it's in here. What the? You gave us a stick! What the? Stop it! Whatever you're doing, quit it. I'm not amused. What do I do with the stick? But really, though, what do I do with the stick? I'm, I don't know what, what do you want, you creepy? Oh, the arrow's gone. I don't know what you want from me. Okay, put the stick on the table. Okay. Whew, back to reading. I'm actually happy to read now. <laughs> September 4th, 2006, visited the library again. A bit more people than before, and among them was Brian. Also, where are these pages coming from? Are they coming out of the notebook? Is the little creepy ghost girl just leaving them for me? What's happening? Are they falling off the clipboard? Whatever, back to reading. It's not worth a bother, but seeing a major skank's <laughs> seeing a major skank's boyfriend Bud wandering around in a library is uncanny by anyone's standards. He must have been there to pick the book for Miss Lasley's assignment. I don't know if it's Lasley's or Lasley's. I don't know. I'm saying Lasley's assignment. I almost got too close to him trying to see what he was going to pick. I really hope he didn't notice that. I'd rather be known as a regular geek than a creepy one. Well, you're already creepy. A jock in a library. Now nah, I've seen everything. You didn't see the creepy girl at the table drawing arrows and pointing me to sticks, that's for sure. What was me? Hate to admit, but seeing Brian at the library was today's only diary worthy event. Probably because it's the only human interaction that didn't give me the sensation of someone talking behind my back. At least today's entry is a, is a tad more meaningful than what I wrote yesterday. I need to revise my book options now. Write you later. Love, Sam. 
I gotta quit doing that. I keep clicking. That's the picture of me at the fridge. Oh, <laughs> there's someone behind me in there. It's not gonna let me turn the page. I miss him even when I'm with him. I see him even when he's not looking. I'm gonna turn around and something is gonna scare my tits off. I already know it. We got this, man. We've been killing zombies for like the last week and a half. We've played plenty of scary games. We got this. Man up. Get a hold of yourself. Ooh, creepy bed gremlins. What the? But the drawing disappeared too? There's gonna be something under the bed in there. Hello? Where'd it go? Can I like reach it? What do I do? It fell behind the bed. What do you want from me, bed? No, oh, can't interact with pillows. Well, how do I see what was on the note if it fell? Hopefully I wasn't supposed to like view that really quick. Can I go back to the book now? No? I think I'm supposed to get that whatever fell, but how do I get it? Do I use a stick? Oh, I sweep the stick under the bed, right? Yeah, I did it. Look at me puzzle solving and whatnot. I'm a genius. Hell yeah. Give me that note. It was Mr. Kane's ninth psychology class, and he still managed to come up with another lame activity. This time, he gave each of us a sheet and made us write down some of our own personal traits. For the next ten cringy minutes, I managed to squeeze out some kind of aspects of myself that I could hate less. After that, Mr. Kane told us to think about whether or not others would agree to each of them. He called it rain gauging. The perspective towards oneself, blah blah, wow, like I really needed to reevaluate my stupid self. But it's not that dumb, subconscious exercise that's bugging me right now. When the papers were being passed around, Brian, yep, him again, kind of smiled at me. Oh, it's 11 p.m. now, why am I writing about this? Well, I don't know, because you're freaking nuts. It's most, likely, it's most likely an accidental glance, but I still don't know why the very image hovered in my head for the rest of the class. Okay, the rest of the day. Stupid Brian, or so I do not say Brian, that's his brain. Stupid brain, probs, probs wanted an excuse for screwing up today's math test. I need an excuse for screwing up math tests because I screwed them up all the time. Oh my goodness! No, I don't like grudge kids. Is this what this one's going to be about? <laughs> she fucking threw it on the clip. Get up there! Are we going to have creepy grudge kids in this one? Because that really bothered me in the Andromalius playthrough I did. I hate that noise. As the time we spent together grew longer and questions kept on growing with it. What does the me in B's eyes look like? Probably a nerd. And creepy because you hang out with grudge kids. Does he see me as I see him? Does he see me as I see myself? Does he see me as I want him to? I don't know. I screamed in agony. But there was nobody to even hear it. Creepy Grudge Kid did. Guarantee it. Well, others think that I... One, do not overthink. Two, would never lie to my friends. Three, never use others for my personal gains. Well, others think that I... Four, won't betray anyone close to me. Five, never act on impulse. Six, don't run away from my responsibility. Yeah, I guess I'm supposed to check... Can I check them all or just one? Oh, I think I can only check one. Um, that one sounds like a good, uh, but that, eh, eh. Oh, I can check them all. Oh, no, I meant no. I meant no. Okay. Yeah. Check them all. No, we're an awesome person. Wait. Will others think that I, yes, won't betray my friends? Or no, won't betray my I think it's a no. Never act on impulse. Don't run away from responsibilities. Heck yes, we're a good person. Go away, grudge kid, we're a good person. We're a good per- We answered everything correctly. It's gonna make me turn around. There ain't even anything there. See, I get scared for no reason. Get up, let me up. No? 
What do you want me to do? Oh, that option wasn't there. <laughs> I'm a fucking freak. Yes. I don't think I was supposed to say yes. All right, let's see what this says now. September 11, 2006. I was returning some of the books I checked out when he came out of nowhere. Hey, anything worth reading? Probably not. I never thought the voice was aimed at me, but my heart was somehow already skipping a beat. Brian had to tap me on the shoulder to get my complete attention. Sam, right? Oh, he noticed her. I saw you going in and out of the library, he said, with buttery voice. What is a buttery voice? It's not like I've been stalking you or anything. Uh, if you got to point that out, chances are you're a stalker. I come here from time to time to get... I come here from time to time, too, to get the stupid assignment out of the way so I can focus on my games. That's what I did in school. He said he couldn't find anything inter interesting to read, and since all he could think of were comics, he could use some guidance. My mind was still jumbled up from the ambush. All I remember saying is, how about misery? Stephen King's works are good enough to get you started. His boys like any story with blood and breaking bones, right? Pretty much, yeah. Oh god, I don't recall how the rest of the conversation went, but I'm certain he said see you later at some point, and I said, yeah, see ya. Misery, real nice, Sam. If Brian didn't know you were a weirdo, he does now. Kinda. Misery was kind of a weird... movie. I didn't read the book, I just saw the movie. What if I did things differently? Stop! We need new electricity in this place! What if I did things differently? I was continuously surrounded by assholes, but I can't call myself a great human being either. My life was in chaos. I barely had time to think about who I was. And with all those noises hovering around me, all I could think of was a simple life. I never wanted a drama. I wanted a poem-ish life. A tender, subtle love story written only for his eyes. It's totally fine if no one else gets it, as long as B does. How long is this book? B was always welcome in my world. I gave him the key to it. Aww. Even if he lost it, he could always come back to our world to find it. And I think it's a good time to come back now, B. Uh, he's a ghost, didn't he? She, like, killed him or something. Let's go back to our small world where I place my heart at everywhere you loved. Let's go back. Sorry, I'm going to be doing quite a bit of cutting. I'm still sick. I'm coughing a lot. You guys don't want to hear that. Let's go back. Okay. But what about that? Can I do that? Ha! I'm a freaking genius. But I know he's not coming back. I will never hear that hey ever again. I will never know what's behind his door locked tight with smiles. Because I gave him my key and B didn't. Yes. Okay, so now we have the key to the drawer, correct? Uh, boom. We are a genius. We get everything, okay? Another note. Bro, I'm gonna have no voice by the end of this. September 16, 2006. Turns out the lake does have a history of having a dead body in it. I know this because I visited there. I visited there because Brian took me there. What? It's all happened so fast. I was outside the yard ready when Brian appeared out of nowhere again. He said, Hey. And started telling me about how he actually enjoyed the book and how he never read the same book twice in his life. And since he was heading out, he offered me to give me... He offered me to give me... Oh, I did read that right. A tour of the town. Ten minutes later, we are passing Joe's Diner, home of the world's famous pancakes. I really want pancakes now, not gonna lie. Says Brian. There was also an arcade across the diner. Brian hates the place because it's teeming with 10-year-olds. Same, bro. I could feel you. I wouldn't like it if it was teeming with 10-year-olds either. The donut shop was Brian's must-go-to place. Too unlike the music store, which, according to him, seriously needs to restock. I found my own POI. See, that's a point of interest. That's what that means. Point of interest. A bookstore. It was weird seeing a bookstore in a gym standing side by side, though. That is kind of odd. At the end of the tour, I finally got to taste the sweet pancake Brian worshipped. Out the window, I could see the weird gigantic hill that was almost visible from my dorm room. Brian revealed that it's a, his secret base of some kind since few people actually visit Colton Hill. He jokingly said that he could take me there when I'm cool enough. Bro, you're not cool enough. After dinner, Brian dropped me off at the bus station and drove off to meet up with his friends. I was exhausted but hyped up beyond my limits. I can't sleep. How can I when the whole day just feels like a dream? 
keep doing that. My bad. Can I take the Sharpie? I can take the Sharpie. <laughs> Epic. Okay, so we put that up there. Oh, we already got the little heart from the wall. That's what we were supposed to do with that. Okay, so we shut that. We got a little ahead of ourselves. Because it was over it was over here under the light switch. We got it. We picked it up. We put it over here. Alright. So, can we can we zoom back in? Yeah, now we can flip the page. Broken memories, broken heart, broken broken neck? Crack, crack, crack. Ugh. Ugh. What was that all about? Did we die? All right, guys, that has been episode one of Love, Sam. As you'll see in the background there on the board, we've actually gotten a little farther. Uh, I almost completed the game. I'm a little further in than what I thought. I thought this was going to be a one-play playthrough, and it's probably going to turn into like a three- or a four-parter. So, uh, yeah, just bear with me on that. That's why we got this weird cut here. But anyways, if you guys like this one, uh, please go ahead and like it. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, hopefully you enjoy the next one. I know the next episode, there's going to be a lot of jump scares and... Uh, yeah, it's pretty terrible. I, I hate it. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, that, that has uh, been Love Sam, and uh, can't wait to see you in the next one, guys. Hopefully you had fun. Hopefully you enjoyed. I have been Killcast. You guys have been fantastic. See you next time. Bye bye